Use tempered 75 residual insecticide to knock down any webbing spiders and prevent spiders re-inhabiting cracks and crevices. Neville Hedge from Bayer shows us how to carry out an external treatment of spiders. This being a chamfer home, I will put an application of chemical on the whole wall, just to the point of runoff. If there's little cracks and crevices here with webbing, I'd put the nozzle right in there. Treat as you move. None of this business. Treat as you move, keeping your wand parallel to your surface. You don't turn your motor up to try and get more height. That's all you do is create more drift. So if anything, turn your motor down a bit. By doing three runs down this one wall, it means you're getting your product to where you want it. If you stand back with just a cone jet and hose the wall down, you will use 140 litres, which is a complete waste. This treatment here is much neater. And as I said before, you get your product to where you want it. On the rear deck here, uh, I would be treating underneath the, the, the patio furniture. Great spot for uh, redback spiders. But this wall here, I'd be able to accomplish a decent treatment here to the point of runoff just with one, one extension. There's an 18-inch 80, 80 extension with a, with a spray wand, which would get me up to nearly the top. And then I'd just change my nozzle to a cone jet. Stand close, and that would get me up into the, into the suffetes, plus the gutter. There's no need for any extra extensions here. This is what I explained to the homeowner from the outset as a prerequisite, marking these windows. You can see I can easily get at this. I can, I can do a treatment very comfortably with my wand without getting any drift on, that, on those windows at all. I'm close enough to see if there's any spider infestation there. If there's not, I wouldn't touch it. Just continue along your wall, back along here. Once again, don't touch anything there. Treat around the perimeter, up here. So there's no chance of getting it on anything on those windows and it's not necessary. And the thing to remember, with your crack and crack and crevices, you change your nozzle to a cone jet, a pin stream, and make sure you're treating those areas there. It's a hollow and you will certainly get your black house spiders in there. But once again I would need my cone jet to get up into those suffetes. A pencil stream up into those suffetes which is slattened and there will be spiders up in there. And a good chance black ants. This is an external railing on the deck and you'll note under here there is a cavity under there so you do need to treat it. Not much point in getting chemical on the top here, but I would certainly be treating along under here, like so. And in particular, in these cracks here, where your decking is touching your chamfers, so there's gaps in here. Absolutely perfect spot for black house spiders.